Hello, welcome to PC Jack. Today, I'm going to show you how to install the Cool Master Hyper 212 Black Edition. To install the Hyper 212, you'll need these included screws and other bits to get started. You'll need four of these nuts, you'll need four of these screws, two of these smaller screws, and four of these plastic clips. You will also need these two AM4 brackets, as we'll only be going through the AM4 mounting process today. First, take your back plate and place these screws into the slot indicated. Next, take one of these plastic clips and place over the screw as shown. Simply rinse and repeat for all four corners. Next, place your motherboard on top of the back plate and align with the holes on your motherboard. Take four of these nuts and screw into each protruding screw from the back plate. You can then use the included Phillips attachment to securely screw each nut into place so they are nice and snug. Next, take the A and 4 brackets and place them on the underside of the heatsink and use the smaller screws to secure in place. Now, place a nice pea-sized dot of thermal paste on your CPU ready for installation. Also, ensure to remove the sticker from the base of your cooler. Now, line up the screws with the cooler with the four threads from the back plate and start to screw on opposing corners to ensure even mounting pressure. You may notice after screwing in the first screw that the cooler will start to lift. Don't worry, and just screw the opposing corner, then rinse and repeat for all four screws until fully secured. So now that the heatsink is installed, we can now attach the included fan. You'll need the two fan brackets in order to clip onto the side of the cooler. These can be a little finicky, so just take your time. And finally, make sure to connect your fan to the CPU fan header on your motherboard. And that's it. You've now installed your new CPU cooler. So, that's how to install the Cooler Master Hyper 212 Black. Hope you found this video useful. If you uh, enjoyed it, then please feel free to like and subscribe for some more tutorials on the way soon and other content. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.